Hi folks, welcome back, hope you're doing alright. Today I'm not going to be writing any music or doing any audio visual work. I'm going to be giving you a little run through of a template that I've created for a VST instrument you've probably seen me using a lot of on this channel. And it's this, BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. Now I do have the core edition of this which contains a lot more articulations. Uh, but I always find myself going back to this because the core edition, because there's so much going on in it. The more choice you have, the sort of, for me personally, the more choice there is, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to actually start writing something. So having this version, you've got limited choice, so you start to churn out ideas a little bit quicker. And then if I need to maybe use a legato line, I can just load up another instance of the core version and just add some more stuff in. So I have taken the liberty of creating a template for this in Cubase. And here it is. So here we are, we've got the violins, violin 2, viola, cello, bass for the strings, and then all the brass section, trumpet, trombone, bass, trombone, tuba, French horn, and the woodwinds, etc, etc. And then all the percussion side of things. Now if we have a little look at the, the violins, you can see these are stored in folder tracks. So you just click on this little folder icon, and it opens up all the different articulations. There is also a group track for all of these inside uh, this folder, which has grouped all of these together. So if I just bring up the mixer and go all the way across to the beginning, see with the violins, see there's a group track, the fader's blue, and all the individual ones are yellow. And this is the same for um, for each of the, the instruments in each section. See the bass, that's all grouped together. All the brass is grouped together. And with the woodwinds, the only thing that isn't is the the percussion section, like the harp, celeste, timpani. They're all left separate because within each one, it's just individual instruments with no different articulations. So those aren't grouped together, but all of these are. And you can see, I mean, these, there's a lot, there is quite a lot of choice uh, for such a small, not as much as the core edition, but having things stored in folder tracks just helps to keep things neat and tidy and it makes navigating the session a lot easier and also another way of keeping things organized as you can see these are all color coded they're all named appropriately as well but they're all color coded to correspond with each section so all our strings are green our brass is red uh, woodwinds are blue and the percussion is yellow so there we go look at that it's all nice and neat and tidy everything's organized and it's all ready to go and you can download this for absolutely nothing why would i charge you something for a free plugin anyway uh, if i didn't mention that earlier yes this is a, a free instrument from spitfire audio you can i've been using this since it came out and it's it's really good if you're just starting to get into orchestral writing uh, this is a great place to start and if you want this template as well you can have it and everything's all out of the box ready to go you don't need to bother loading up instruments it's all here okay now not just cubase but i also have another one for fl studio for ableton live and for pro tools now i'll give you a little look at the fl studio one just now okay so here we are in fl studio and this is the template that I've created with BBC Symphony Orchestra. And you can see down on the timeline, uh, got all the, the strings, the brass, woodwinds. And again, with all the uh, the percussion side, they're all just individual. They aren't in group tracks. So if we click on this little arrow, you see we've got space for all the different articulations. And that's the same for every single one of these sections. Uh, if I bring up the channel rack, Here's where we load up all our instruments, and this is where you select which sound that you want. And again, these are all color coded to correspond with the section of the orchestra. And if I bring up the mixer, here we are. They're all grouped together. Um, well, they're not grouped. I, don't, I haven't set up any group tracks in this one, uh, but I've put in a separator in here uh, between each of the, the different instruments. So with our strings, our brass, our woodwinds, and like I said, all of these ones, the percussion section is, um, they aren't uh, being separated because it's all just one section. 
So this one is, is really basic, it's it's quite easy to set up. I haven't got anything stored in folder tracks, but I've got them all pretty much organised as best I can. I don't really use FL Studio that much anymore, I've been using Cubase for about a year now. I, I sometimes go into FL Studio to mess about, but um, I've kind of forgotten how to operate it <laughs> as much as I used to know. Um, but this is just a very basic template. Um, so. Yeah, it's again like the Cubase one, it's just all ready to go. Select the instrument you want, create your pattern, and yeah, just get things going, start writing. Now, I do have templates for Ableton Live and Pro Tools as well. However, I can't give you a proper look at them because I don't use Ableton or Pro Tools here at home. But I do have some screenshots of them. So here's the Ableton one. See, this is just to, just to give you a rough idea as to how it's all set up. So these are all our group tracks for each of the, the instruments. And again, keeping them nice and colour coded uh, so it's all organised. Right through to the percussion section. And this is the group tracks all opened up with all our articulations for each one. All the strings, all the brass, the woodwinds, and again, like I said, with the... Uh, the percussion section, they're all just separate. Okay, so let's have a look at the Pro Tools one. Right, these are all stored in folder tracks as well. Kept it the exact same principle as before, they're all colour coded. So this is the string section all expanded out. And then we've got the brass section, woodwinds, and a percussion. So if you'd like a copy of one of these templates, there's a link in the description to my website. Go to the contact page, send me an email telling me which template you want, and I will happily respond to that email with the template file. If you like all this kind of stuff, uh, writing music, orchestral writing, audio visual stuff, uh, then why don't you subscribe to the channel? I will be back soon doing some more of that kind of thing. Uh, so until then, thank you very much for watching and I hope to hear from you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.